Looney Farm Guy here with the new mod test for Farming Simulator 22 and this is Wood Crane. This is for all platforms, console and PC. This is by Kenny456, 9.69 megabytes to download, 14 slots on console. I'm on PS5 here on my test map, Rock Crawl. And um, yes, this is an interesting piece of equipment you'll find in their tools and forestry equipment. And here it is, a wood crane, $120,000, 36.2 tons. Uh, this is how you get it. Uh, it's either extended arm or standard. Um, oddly enough, the standard version is, oh, uh, $10,000 less. So you get a discount if you get the standard. We have one of each to show you. Colors, we have all the colors. Uh, of course, the yellow is not going to cost you anything. Uh, white, three grand. So anything other than what did it come with? Yeah, it come with a limpkin, I think. Zero dollars for the limpkin. But any other color other than the uh, yellow or the limpkin, for some odd reason. Oh, wait a minute, not limpkin. New Holland? Oh, New Holland. Yeah. Um, is uh, going to cost you three grand. And rim colors is uh, white, silver, black, or chrome. Chrome is two grand. Right, so this is a very unique piece of equipment. Now it comes on uh, a low loader. And if we just, I just want to show it to you first before we unload it. Because when you unload it, you, it you have a low loader, but the low loader isn't really usable. You can't unfold the ramps or anything. We got a bit of a test area set up here, as you can see. All right, first off, let's hop in and unfold this and let's show you how to set it up. So you're going to want to, it unloads to the right side and it'll show you pretty nice uh, little um, graphic or whatever, but just, just so you know, Make sure you have plenty of room on the right side of your vehicle. So we were going to point it upwards here. And it is very heavy. Uh, the truck, this is the standard MAN in-game truck. And it is heavy, this thing. So let's get our help window on here. There we go. So we have our trailer highlighted. L1 and X unfolds the crane. So let's, it's, it's kind of a, not kind of, a, it's quite interesting Let's get the best look here. I don't know if I get the best angle. Okay. Actually, this is probably all right. Well, no angle is going to be great. L1 and X, and this is what's going to happen. You're going to see that flash, and it's going to start building your crane. And there it is. Now, I would highly recommend leaving the trailer where it is, but we're going to show you a couple of things. Uh, to do with that in a little bit of a moment. Not sure why it's extended. Maybe it's a little bit extended out the end. The other one, uh, yes, so you can tab to it and tab to it over here. So that, because I got one the extended version and I got one the normal version and maybe extended width. Don't know. Um, that could be. Yes, I'm sure I did the extended version on this. Hmm. Anyways, um, aside from that, there. That's how it is. Um, that's how you build it. How do you take it down? Just if you stay in the same place, L1 and X, and it builds it back and puts it back on the trailer, like so. Right? Okay. So, let's build it again. L1 and X. And we'll go through this procedure again. Right, and you can just drive off with this low loader. Um, I suppose you could use it for something else. Um, the tension belts don't work. R1 and R3, I don't see them working. 
uh, it's still actually if you get into it an L1 it's still basically attached to the crane so it is linked to the crane even though you're driving it away and I'll show you something interesting let's drive it over here so we're we're quite a ways away now if we stop and L1 and X fold the train or fold the crane it will it will fold back anywhere we are we can reload it back up on there now that's kind of neat except there's potentially a problem with that yes this is the extended one because it has the two arms on there I don't see much of a difference between this and the regular one right okay so here we are let's say we want to set it up over here now stop L1 unfold okay so this one's working okay here even though I unfolded it and reloaded it somewhere else because the other oh yes that's what happens <laughs> where is it uh, well it's back to where we had it the first time so I don't know exactly what's going on because I is it because I moved see there it is over there where we first unfolded it and then when we left and fold it so it might you might only be able to place it one time because now these yellow markers on the ground are supposed to be where you're supposed to um, load it back up again that's what I'm assuming those yellow markers on it doesn't really say anything about it but it does say you're supposed to come back here to load it back up again and of course here we go so we're back here and we've actually went beside it and loaded it up I can start driving away but is it going to reappear back there if I unload it again maybe if I unhook it I'm sorry if I'm spending a little bit of time with this but some of you may be using this and now you say well I went to move it and it disappeared and is it gonna stay there okay so it stayed there right so I think that's the trick you can't even though you can <clears throat> reload it no matter where you go it's gonna really mess it up so you really have to come back on these yellow strips to reload to refold it back on the on the flat deck if you want to be able to move it and go take it somewhere else all right enough of that let's uh, let's go in here and uh, you can get in and out of it like a vehicle snow here X uh, square enter vehicle there we are we're in the crane now view we have views inside the cab uh, the crane itself the grapple itself or outside here right in cab grapple itself or outside I prefer the outside view as a rule all right L1 or you don't want to fold it L1 and right stick left and right that moves the uh, the whole gantry or the whole thing itself which is handy when you want to straighten up things <laughs> right so let's position ourselves kind of in the middle of these logs here now the l1 l1 and right stick up and down i oh that's that's the trailer the ramps on the trailer i was wondering what that was well now um so the trailer ramps do work that's that's quite interesting um yes right okay uh, odd right so as you can tell the, the the two of them are really still connected okay r1 and right stick up and down moves the uh the crane side to well side to side like that left and right lowers and raises the grapple all right so let's l1 and left 
there we go R1 and we have positioned here and we're so uh, there we go L1 and R1 that's what controls your grapple or your so left and right spins it up and down opens and closes it so here we go we're gonna open it up and R1 left or right stick and then L1 and R1 grabs that very nice R1 left picks it up and then we can move it like so there so that's the best I'm gonna be able to do <laughs> with this with logs I was surprised I got that far now obviously yes okay well there's a collision there that's quite obvious so yeah it's to load logs obviously like so now to be loading logs that are left here onto a, a truck or taking it off a truck into onto something else that's really what kind of it's for uh, if we go over here not sure really what the extended I want maybe they're both extended versions and hold on okay I think I know what happened I'm a bit of a doofus actually because if we go back in there and go to forestry equipment it defaults to the extended and I bought two extended ones we have the standard so I went and bought the standard one let's unfold it and I think I know what's uh, what's up with that yes okay so that's that's really what the extended version the extended version has the extension on the end the non extended one obviously is like thus and that is my very best attempt at demonstrating the wood crane by Kenny 456 9.69 megabytes to download and 14 slots on console thank you all for watching I'm Looney Farm Guy and remember it's only a game so until next time Bye for now.